Hello and welcome to Tennis Works TV on Tuesday the 1st of November 2011. With myself, John Cappell, the Director of Tennis, Tennis Works. Here's a brief roundup of the latest news in the world of tennis. On Sunday, Petra Kvitova took the WTA Championships in front of 13,000 people at the Sinan Erdem Dome in Istanbul, Turkey. In an electric final against Victoria Azarenka, Kvitova took the match 7-5-4-6-6-3. Liesel Huber and Lisa Raymond won the WTA Championships doubles title with a 6-4, 6-4 win over Kveta Penchki and Katerina Shrobotnik in the final. Huber and Raymond joined forces in April and this was their fourth title from their last six events. This victory also means that Huber will finish the 2011 season ranked as the number one doubles player in the world. Fourth seed Marin Silic defeated the number two seed Janko Tipsarovic 6-3, 3-6, 6-2 to win his first title of the season on Sunday at the St. Petersburg Open. The victory denied Tipsarovic his opportunity to move up to ninth place in the battle for the season-ending Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in London. Third seeds Colin Fleming and Ross Hutchins edged wildcards Mikhail Elgin and Alexandra Kudryavstev 6-3, 6-7, 10-8 to win their first team title on Sunday at St. Petersburg Open. Joe Wilfred Songa's prospect of qualifying for the ATP World Tour Finals were boosted on Sunday after the Frenchman notched his first victory against Juan Martin Del Potro, defeating the Argentine 6-7, 6-3, 6-4 to win the Erstbank Open in Vienna. With the win, Songa moves past Mardi Fish to number 7 in the South African Airways 2011 ATP year-to-date end rankings. Top-seeded Americans Bob Bryan and Mike Bryan won their first title since Wimbledon as they defeated the number two seeds Max Mini and Daniel Nesta 7-6, 6-3 on Sunday at the Erstbank Open in Vienna. Looking ahead to this week. This week there are two ATP 500 events. One is in Valencia with David Ferrer as the number one seed and the other is in Basel with Djokovic, Murray and Federer all competing. On the WTA Tour, it's the final tournament of this year in Bali before the Federation Cup final the week after. Let me keep you informed about the forthcoming Tennis Works events. On Wednesday 2nd of November, Tennis Works is proud to present the Creating a Tennis Academy in Spain webinar with guest presenter Dan Kiernan. As a junior, Dan won eight different national championships and the 14 and under World Doubles Championships. He represented Great Britain in all age groups and competed in Junior Grand Slam events. At 18, he was the National Junior number 1 and awarded a tennis scholarship to Louisiana State University where he is part of one of the most successful college teams in the USA. Dan achieved a senior national ranking of 5 in doubles and 25 in singles. After graduating, Dan spent three years on the Pro Tour and won more than 20 professional singles and doubles titles and competed at Wimbledon. He was consistently ranked inside the top 15 in Great Britain in singles and the top 700 on the ATP Tour. He excelled in doubles and as well as being a former British doubles number one, he was ranked inside the top 150 in the world. Since retiring from the Pro's Tour in 2005, he has coached several young players to international level in their age groups and in 2009 he captained the Great Britain under 12s team in the European Nations Cup. In May 2010 he set up Soto Tennis Academy in Soto Grande, Costa del Sol, Spain 
to create individual and tailored programs for his players' specific needs, and they now have Grand Slam level players established there. During the webinar, Dan will share with you his journey from the idea and inception to the realization of this dream and the opening of the academy through to the current success and plans for the future. This is a free webinar and places will be limited. You can register your place now by visiting www.tennisworks.net. Join us in Milton Keynes for a live Tennis to Work seminar with John Willis on developing club and county doubles play. This exciting and informative seminar will help coaches with limited doubles match play experience and help them to develop club level players to a high standard. Areas that will be covered are pre-match preparation, recognizing game situations, basic doubles tactics, court positioning, working as a team, movement and much, much more. John is the chairman of the British Tennis Coaches Association and coaches at Doncaster Lawn Tennis Club. He was the former county coach and development officer for Northumberland LTA and head coach at the Puma Sunderland Indoor Tennis Centre. He has worked in tennis for over 22 years and in that time has coached three junior players to national championship titles and has taken a keen interest in performance level work. For over 10 years, he has delivered the LTA coach development and award courses. You can register for this seminar now by going to www.tennisworks.net. Please go to tennisworks.net today where you can register for your free membership for one month. Whether you're a coach, player, parent, enthusiast, assistant or involved in tennis in any way, tennisworks.net is a one-stop shop for all your tennis development and educational needs. On the website you can also sign up to our free newsletter which is bursting with quality information and articles from our contributors around the world and join our YouTube channel with regular updates on the world of tennis. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and please go and visit tennisworks.net now. Take care and see you all again soon.